In 2007, iPhone reinvented what we think of as a phone. It's hard to remember what it was like before iPhone. What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I find this to be freaking cool. It is old OS and if we launch this, as you can see, it's basically iOS 4 as an application. Now let, let, me, let me go ahead and kill this. So you can see there's the lock screen, your normal slide to unlock from iOS 4. You have a, a, a digital home button as well, which looks really cool and it does function. And then there's a haptic feedback when you touch it as well. Now, if we go into settings and we go to general and about, uh, this is on iOS 4.3, as you guys can see, which is, I think, really cool. Now, um, I started making YouTube videos and I think it was right on iOS 4. My first YouTube channel, I might've started in, on iOS 3, but for sure on iOS 4 on this channel is when I began doing tutorials, which I find to be super, super nostalgic. Now. Not everything functions on this, but the developer is actively working on it. So uh, he will, you know, add support for uh, features as it's developed. Um, but messages doesn't work. Uh, photos does, which is really cool. You have your camera roll there. There's no albums or anything, but you still can access all of your photos right there. Uh, the camera works, which is really cool. I have a little fuzzy on my iPhone. There we go. Um, the camera works, uh, YouTube doesn't, I, I don't know about stocks, stocks works, it's really cool to play around with this, maps works as well, I'm not going to open that because it'll show everybody where I am, uh, weather, so, and that seems, well, maybe it's still dark out in Cupertino, I'm not sure, I'm in New York and it is considered daytime now, um, let's see what else, we got notes here, so you can take notes with this, uh, the folders don't open, they don't do anything iTunes works, the App Store works, Game Center launches. I wish Apple would make Game Center great again. But like I said, I find this to be super nostalgic to play around with this, uh, being that it is basically on iOS uh, 4.3. I have such a strong urge to be able to jailbreak this with Red Snow and install Cydia and use legacy tweaks such an urge to do that. I don't think it's possible at all, but that would be really freaking cool to jailbreak this with red snow. It'd be so nostalgic. Um, you can change your wallpaper as well, which I thought was really cool. So if we go into uh, your wallpapers here, here's all the stock iOS 4 wallpapers. And then I'm just going to change it to uh, a wallpaper here. I guess maybe we'll do this one. We'll zoom that in a little bit so it looks nice. We'll set as both and it just feels, I don't know, it feels nice using iOS 4. I don't know why, but it does feel very nice. I think it's super cool and it's actively being developed. So more stuff will be added over time. Now to get old OS, uh, you will have to install it through test flight. So I'll leave the link for this down in the description for those of you that want to try it out. Now there is a limited amount of slots um, for people to try this out. So I will also leave in the description uh, the Twitter link for the developer here. Um, as he adds new slots to old, o old OS, he does tweet about it. So if you guys try to install old OS and it says there are no more slots available, just make sure you follow the developer on Twitter and uh, he will post when he adds more slots for people to test it out. So Super cool application that's being um, created and developed. I thought it was awesome. I think it's super nostalgic. Um, hopefully you guys in, uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.